Thank you for tuning in to Belmont Journal. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal de Salazar. The annual town election is April 4th. There is one town-wide race in this year's election. Three candidates are running for two three-year school committee seats. Joining me today is one of the candidates in the race, John Yue. Welcome, John. Thank you. Can you tell our viewers who is John Yue? Hi, my name is John Yue, and my daughter, who is an athlete, like to you know get an endorsement from Under Armour. So you know, she's already a UA girl. Uh, I came to United States when I was thirteen and went through public school system in New York City, and uh, and then came to Boston for uh, colleges and beyond. I have an undergrad degree from MIT, where I also was trained as a mediator. Uh, I have a computer science master's from Northeastern University. And, on the, and then after that, um, my wife and I decided to look for a place to stay. And Belmont was our choice because of the schools. In fact, back in 2010, before we put an offer on a, on a place, we went to the Butler School and had a visit, just understand the school, and actually met Principal Mac McAllister at that point. Um, I have uh, two kids, an eighth grader who is ready to go to the high school, and we are in the middle of course selections for high schools, and it is a interesting and stressful process for her. And I have a fifth grader going to sixth grader, and he always talk about how he is, he was the youngest, sorry, he was the oldest kid in uh, Butler, going to Chenery being the youngest grade, and then next year when Chenery becomes Chenery Upper Middle School, I'm uh, sorry, Upper School, she, he will be the oldest kid in the school again. Jen, what do you do for work? So I'm an actuary by training, and I also had a um, certificate of, I'm also a charter financial analyst, and as a pension and retiree welfare actuary, at Hewitt, I had a lot of experience looking at benefit and cash flows. I also work as a health actuary at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Massachusetts and Tuft Health Plan. Um, now I'm in a non-traditional actuarial work where I am in market research doing uh, data analytics and basically taking the data in from a uh, survey that's fielded and find the nuggets and insight in the results. And do you have any uh, volunteers positions you have in our town? So I being a soccer coach for nine years, and like I was uh, tell people, I never played soccer before, and my entire organized soccer experience is based on when my daughter started kindergarten. Uh, I also run the soccer program, the in-town program at Belmont Soccer, where everybody from K through A would be under my purview. Um, I have coached over 100 boys and girls in Belmont. And when my, both of my kids were at Butler, so this would have been pre-pandemic, I was the treasurer for the Butler PTA for two years, where I worked with Meg Moriarty, who was the PTA president at that time. Um, now, during pandemic, uh, it was a really tough time, and the school committee asked for volunteer to help transition the elementary school back into uh, hybrid or return to school mode. So I volunteered and was serving in that capacity, conversing with all the elementary school principals and several other parents, including parents who are on uh, have special needs, parents who are out of town, and one parent from each different school distributing different grades. So some parents are younger, some parents are older. Uh, we, our task was actually diving into survey data where we look at what the parents feel about the remote learning process and how we can best get back to the school. Um, what I found is there were a lot of different opinions, and the result that we came up with was um, part of, I feel, 
helpful in um, progressing the communication in terms of getting back into uh, in-school learning. Now, outside of Belmont, as an alarm, I, for MIT, I interview high school kids for admission. And so I did this when I was um, in person, when I was living in Iowa for three years, when my wife was doing her education. And then after that, I've done a lot of Zoom meetings, including kids in Kentucky. And currently, my region of interview is West Africa. So I actually interview a lot of bright young kids out in countries that's a lot poorer than us and have or aspire to go to MIT just because it is a special place. Um, but that also gave me a lot of insight into where do we want our kids to be when they reach the end of their high school career. That's right, thank you. And that's when my question comes, why did you decide to be a, uh, to run? Well, um, there is a huge need of um, support in the school committee. I was asked to run when, um, when both Mike and Kay decided to step down. Um, I feel that I have the right qualification and I can be helpful to the community, especially in the school committee. Um, my actual experience, my negotiation experience um, can augment the current committee member who are excellent in education administration. So basically, in a way, building a team that will serve the community well. That's right. Do you have a specific ideas for making an improvement in our system? What do you see as the top needs for the district? Uh, right now, the, all the conversations about the school and the town budget. Uh, I believe it's really important for us to have a stable, long-term vision of uh, how we're going to be spending our money and how we can be in a stable financial situation for the schools. Uh, that it will be necessary to retain talent, that will be necessary to have good continuity of programs, and that will be good for the students. Um, we also have a large number of out-of-town placement uh, of kids who have some special needs. I feel it's important to be able to take care of our kids that way. Um, as a immigrant, I understand the importance of um, good ELL program. Uh, we have 30% or so of uh, English learners when they come into kindergarten. And um, it is important for us to make sure that they are well supported. My myself came when I was 13. And so between eighth and grade and ninth grade, I had in school ESL classes. I had summer programs where um, all we focus on is communication, how to talk to the teachers, how to read, and how to basically understand each other. And with a good program, I was able to move on to a challenging high school where I was basically taking all honor classes and uh, actually had five semesters of math and two semesters of college literature, even though I was only here for three or four years at that point. So those are very important and dear to my heart. Yes, a strong program to support the English learners, yes. yes. Do you have a specific ideas to make improvement, improvements in the Belmont Public Schools? So one idea that has already came up is that we are in a transition. You know, we are, our Chinnery Middle School is going to be split up. The seventh and eighth grade are going to the new middle school right next to the high school. And we're going to bring the fourth graders up to soon to be Chennery Upper Middle School. I'm oh, sorry, Upper Avalon Tree. We're going to have some space. And you know, one idea would be to build up a lab program where we can serve our kids right in Belmont, where we don't have to send them on a bus to another town at a cost that is significantly higher than 
we can actually uh, teach our own kids. In fact, you know, when other towns send their kids to us, we will have a financial benefit on top of that as well. Uh, secondly, I believe that um, we just had a round of tough union negotiation with the teachers. We were uh, about a year late in finalizing the contract, which means that the next negotiation is going to come up real soon. I believe we should get started and having the conversation to understand everybody's need because union negotiation isn't just about dollars. It's about taking care of the teachers or setting up, set everything up right so that the teachers can take care of the kids. So if we can start that process and have it finished on time, I think everybody will benefit. That's right. We have great teachers and we need to support them as well. Uh, give it the limit budget. How would you prioritize what should and should it be done in our schools? So budgeting and forecasting cash flow is something that I've done a lot of. Now, in the current situation, with election being April 4th, it's likely that the current year budget is already on its way. You know, So if I'm elected, it's not, I may have to approve it, but it's not really where I can make changes to the current budget. Now, it is a tough time, um, but you know, what we need to do is really think more beyond just one year. And actually, that's what actuaries do. Now, going beyond that, I believe that if we have a long-term process of properly funding the school, the current budget situation really should call for only temporary cuts that can be easily restored. We should not be cutting any permanent program simply because we don't have the money. Any program that is running well, that performs well, shouldn't be the subject of a cut. But if we have program that performs poorly, regardless of budget conditions, we should consider making changes. Now, beyond that, as a town, I believe it's more than just what's going on in terms of our own taxes, what's going on with our budget, how can we cut to make sure we meet the budget. We should also seeking out additional help, making sure we can increase our base of taxations maybe, um, or reach out to our state representative, for example, our problem with out-of-town placement, there is a, there are support from the state level for those towns that just have too much out-of-town placement and is, you know, is dealing with a budget issue. And we also recently, as Massachusetts, passed the fair share amendment. So the conversation of can we get some of that money should be included. That's right. How will you address uh, different needs of the students in the Belmont Public Schools? So addressing the need is maybe harder than it sounds because you need to first know what the needs are. And you know, I, I am now working in market research, which means that I do surveys and actually asking people what they need. So first thing I would do is actually continue on the process that we have during pandemic where we solicit feedback and, and through surveys from the parents to actually find out what the needs are. It could be you know, special education support, EL support, or high level learning support, and anything in between. Um, whereas, you know, right now there is a conversation about Chenery being a relatively difficult school to go through just because it's, it's big and um, kids are not having enough recess. You know, we have an opportunity to address those needs as, as making new 
new things happen with the new schools as opposed to changing what is currently there and then disrupting something else that's already going well. So, you know, looking at what's needed is you, you really do need to find out different needs. You know, I'm a parent of two. We have, um, we have a community of several thousand of students and we don't know everything ourselves. A key part, get to know the field. That's Absolutely. A, yes, very well. Is there a decision made by the past administration that you think uh, you disagree with? If so, what will you have done differently? Well, um, I think the school committee has been doing a really good job. I mean, they are good people, and uh, I felt really comfort comfortable with the existing team. I went to a school committee meeting recently and found out as uh, Superintendent Phelan retiring, there was a big hit on the budget because we had to pay out all his um, vacation time. He didn't spend them and we didn't do anything about it. And so, you know, we should think about budgeting as a holistic process, you know, if there is a benefit owed, we need to accrue that. This is standard business practice. If we you know, have teachers who didn't take their vacation, well, what does that mean? That means we didn't have to pay for the subs that come in and, and teach their class while they're out. But it also means that that money we didn't spend on the sub should have been accrued as a benefit for that teacher in the future. Um, so, Looking at how we budget closely is one of the things that I would do if I'm elected onto a school committee. What is your vision for education in Belmont? I think we have an excellent school system. I want to make sure that our school continue to be excellent like the reputation that it has. Um, I want to have caring and accountable administrators. I want to have the best teachers, which, you know, may require, you know, good compensation to the teachers themselves. And I want the school to be a place where the kids want to go to school to learn. I firmly believe that kids are going to school not just to learn a subject, but to actually learn how to learn anything so that when they're adult, they can handle anything that comes at them. And so, it will be very important to me that any student needs are supported through the right program and policies. That's right. Why should someone vote for you? In this challenging time, I believe I have the experience, the background, being an actuary and a mediator to help the process, you know, to help the school committee to through the transition and i hope everybody who agree with me will vote for me thank you thank you for stopping by by the studio to tell us more about you you are welcome to come by anytime and share some more and we wish you the best thank you to our viewers for tuning in i'm your host maribel carvajal de salazar don't forget to vote on april 4th thank you maribel